Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a really simple way to rewrite any quadratic trinomial as a perfect square. So let's get started. With the very first thing I want you to do is, let's put this uh, expression equal to zero. Why we are doing this thing? We are just pretending that it is equal to zero. This uh, this way, this is going to make our life or our job a lot easier. So the next step is I want you to make sure that you have only x variables on the left hand side. That means 3 must go on the other side. So we ended up with x squared minus 5x. And when you move this positive 3 on the other side becomes negative 3. So the next step is I want you to focus on the coefficient of x. Let's focus on this 5 only. Don't worry about this negative sign. I want you to write down this 5 somewhere here on the right hand side. I want you to divide whatever this number divided by 2. And then the next step is I want you to square it. So these are the steps. First whatever this number divided by 2 and then square it. So we want to add this quantity whatever this thing on the both side of this equation. Let's go ahead and write it down. So I'm going to write down x square minus 5x plus and equal to negative 3 plus. Now I'm going to go ahead and write it down for 5 over 2 square on the left hand side and I'm going to do 5 over 2 I did added both sides now I want you to look at the left hand side this left hand side represents a, a complete square so we're going to use this well-known formula to put in a complete square form. I'm going to write it down as x minus 5 over 2 square. So let me just show you where this is. This x, I just put it right up here. This 5 over 2, I just put it over here. And this negative, whatever this sign, this shows up in the middle equals to I'm going to write down negative 3 plus this one when you open it up that's going to become 25 over 4. So let's focus on this part. I just copied this thing right over here and we're going to simplify this one. So the very first thing is I can make it a fraction by just putting one underneath and then I want you to crisscross, cross multiply like this way. Let's multiply this thing. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12 and whatever this sign plus just put it down and then 1 times 25 is 25 divided by 1 times 4. You just go ahead and multiply, that's going to become 4. If you simplify on the top, that's going to give you 13 over 4. This is our simplified form. So I can write this thing over here. Let's move on over here on this side. x minus 5 over 2 square. And we just simplified this thing. This turns out to be 13 over 4. The next step, I want you to just go ahead and move this fraction on the left hand side. So once you move this thing, fraction on this side, this is going to simply become x minus 5 over 2 square. And when you move on the other side, become negative 13 over 4 equal to zero so far so good so the next step that we are going to do is i want you to disregard this zero we no longer need this one just simply i am going to write down this part only i'm going to write down x minus 5 
over 2 minus 13 over 4 and this represents a perfect square and thus this is our answer and finally here is your assignment can you rewrite this given quadratic trinomial into a perfect square you can take your time you can pause the video luckily I have already uploaded this video as well please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye